Hello, everybody. I want to read some scriptures out of the book of Romans, chapter 12, and I want you to really take a look at uh, this teaching very carefully because you have to understand we are all victims of those who taught us. We are all ignorant in certain areas because those that do the teaching don't know everything. So you can't just sit under one teacher and then that's it because you become very, very narrow-minded about the truths that are out there. So you need to surround yourself with people who are always pressing towards truth because they are the ones that help you go to another level. So in Romans chapter 12, we read, starting in verse 1, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you, that's you, that's me, present your bodies a living sacrifice. Now, notice it doesn't say that you're to present your bodies as a sacrifice. Oh, yeah, brother, I, I sacrifice a lot of stuff to preach the gospel. No. It says you present your bodies a living sacrifice. So God is expecting our lives, our bodies, to reveal to the world a life that others don't know about. And they're having to sacrifice and everything. They're suffering. They're going through a bunch of stuff. But he wants us to present our bodies as a living sacrifice. And a living sacrifice means that you don't have to go through all the turmoil and the sickness and the disease. You don't know, no, you're the living size, uh, the living side of things. So you and I have to understand that as long as we hang around teaching that talks about death and suffering and why God allows this stuff, you're never going to get to that, that place where you can reveal the life that is already within you. So he says, present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Now, the perfect will of God is how God sees you or how God sees the human in His most perfected idea that God has when He created the human being. And the human being was created so that it could be a spirit of life in a physical dirt body, a body created out of the dirt of the earth, so that the life of heaven can be displayed here in this natural world. That is your purpose, but it comes through thinking that you are life and not death.